Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell. Today we're going to be talking about a really cool custom visual that you may have heard of. It's called the aquarium visual. Uh, it's, it's a really fun way to play with your data in case you don't have too serious of a report and you just want to have a little bit of fun. Go ahead and download this visual from the Microsoft Store and uh, yeah, just play around with it. It's really cool. So let's go ahead and import it. To do that, click the ellipses, import from file. I have a download, it's called Enlighten Aquarium. Go ahead and open it. And it says it was uh, successfully imported. And there it is, you can see it from this fish. So let's make this really big, because it's a really, really fun one. And all we have to do is put in our fish and our fish size. So uh, just for the first example, let's go ahead and put in product category as the fish. And we'll put in, uh, to determine its size, we'll put in the sales amount, how much we've sold for each product category. And there you go. You can see these four fish here. If you hover over, you can see their um, like what category it is and their total uh, their total sales. And you can uh, you can alter a couple things on here um, for the data scale. You can basically size it based on area or size it based on length of the fish. Uh, you can give it a reference to how you want to size it. Right now, it's sized based on max value, but you know, uh, if you, you can set this to any constant you want. If I change it to 50,000, they're huge because the sales are all over 50,000. I mean, you can kind of change it up by adding different constants. Really cool stuff. Uh, you can change the way the fish look, triangle fish or sharks for that case. Really cool stuff. And do a couple other things like change the background up here to different colors. Um, some cool little things. Uh, just one more example of this in action. Let's go ahead and get rid of product category and instead let's put in product names since we have a lot more product names and categories. You see a bunch of fish. So this can handle a lot of different data points and see something in the back um, is hardly noticeable compared to these much bigger categories. So it's just a fun way to visualize your data in case you're not taking this report too seriously. But uh, if this looks cool to you, go ahead and download it from the Microsoft Store and uh, play around with it a little bit. So if you like this tip, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next Power BI 3 minute tip.